While no two ECAM procedures are alike, let's take one final look at an example. In this case, it will be a level one engine two fire. I will again act as the pilot monitoring dealing with this failure, but this does require the pilot flying to have a bit more interaction throughout the ECAM procedure, as you will see. Master one, engine two fire. ECAM actions. Engine two fire, land ASAP red. Failure verified. Thrust lever two, idle. Confirm thrust lever two. Confirm. Engine master two, off. Confirm number two. Confirm. Off. Engine two, fire push button. Push. Confirm number two. Confirm. Push. Agent 1, after 10 seconds, discharge. Agent 1, discharge. Fire, Agent 1, discharge. Fires out, engine secure. We make this announcement to the pilot flying that the engine is secure at this time since the fire is out because the pilot flying will then at this point be allowed to stop ECAM without impacting safety if he or she requires our actions on anything flying, communicating or navigation related. If otherwise, we will just continue. I know here that the engine is secure and the fire is out because the fire light up here extinguished as well as the fire light on the engine control panel here, which is again a non-processed signal, which has extinguished. I will continue the ECAM action. Engine two, shutdown. Land ASAP, amber. Engine mode selector, ignition. Ignition. If no fuel leak, imbalance monitor. We will bring up the fuel page manually here. I will note down the values on the right side where the failure has happened to ensure we don't have any damage to the wing tank that allows us to lose fuel before considering cross feeding. We will come back to look at these values in five to 10 minutes before we attempt any imbalance or cross feeding. TCAS, TA. You guys, mode selector, TA. Avoid icing condition. Clear engine two. Clear engine two. Land ASAP amber. Secondary failures. Bleed hydraulic electrical. On the bleed page, I see we have lost engine bleed number two and pack number two, but the bleed system is provided through bleed from engine one and pack number one. Clear bleed. Clear bleed. Electrical. We have lost generator number two, but generator number one is supplying AC bus one and AC bus two. However, the galley has been shedded. We should consider starting the APU to take the load off generator number and number one and supply redundancy. I agree. Clear electrical. Clear electrical. Hydraulics. We've lost engine driven pump on the right side number two. The yellow system is pressurized using the PTU. Clear hydraulics. Clear hydraulics. Status. Stop ECAM. No normal checklist. No computer reset. Read status. Status. Avoid icing conditions. If severe ice accretion, minimum speed VLS plus 10, green dot speed. Maneuver with care. Landing Distance procedure apply. We will apply this after the status. CAT 3 single only. Inoperative systems, wing anti icing, CAT 3 dual, engine 2 bleed, pack 2, main galley, generator 2, and yellow engine driven pump. Remove status. Remove status. ECAM actions complete. I hope this presentation and lesson was useful to you because it should be laying the foundation for your failure management 
on this aircraft.